Hello, have you ever wanted to learn how to add white borders to your photos inside of Lightroom? In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add a crisp and clean white border to all of your photos using Adobe Lightroom. Welcome, my name is Sarissa and I'm the owner of Immerse Photography here in Ohio and the voice behind Sparkle Society on social media. I encourage, educate, and empower photographers to make informed decisions for their business. And you, my friend, are in the right place. Even if you're not a business owner and you simply love photography, you are gonna find massive value from this tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show you right now how to add these white borders. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you've been in the develop mode, you've culled your photos, you've edited the photos, and you have pulled up exactly what you want to use. So right now, I'm in my library mode, and I'm gonna select all of these photos. So for me right now, there's 30 from this recent prom photo shoot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a white border to all of these images. So I'm gonna come over here to the print tab, and I know this is one that we don't frequently use, but it is going to be the most important tool for creating these white borders. So I'm on the print tab and now I'm going to come over here. You'll see that it's defaulting to a four by six size. I'm going to come down here to my page setup and I'm going to choose a custom size paper. Now, why am I doing this? I'm thinking of my end game. I know that I want to print out a three and a half by five by five inch photo. Now, you all know that some photos or some cameras print at a four by six ratio. In doing a three and a half by five, you may lose a little bit of the size of the images. For me, that's not enough to be a problem. So I like to do this small size, two reasons. One, it's going to prevent my co uh, my clients from copying them and reproducing them for larger images. And I like to be able to keep my costs down. You guys, I can print 30 proofs for my clients for less than $15, which I feel is a wise financial investment. The larger the size, the more cost you have. So I like to do the three and a half by five simply because it saves time and it prevents my clients from reproducing these images. Now, you can see that I have this image now. I've got my paper is three and a half by five. And now I look at it and we can see that we kind of have this like weird empty space. And I wanna get rid of that so I have the perfect ratio of border around the edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here and I do want to show you one quick thing. If you are someone who likes to add a border, you can do this stroke border option here. And I can click this and you'll see that it does add a nice white border. It's kind of cool. That may be your jam. That might not be. I'm going to let you make that decision. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I like just to have a clean, white, crisp border. Now, here's what I want you to call your attention to. Over here under my layout, we're going to see that my margins are half, or I'm sorry, a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and a half of an inch. I know that I'm not printing this on my actual printer and it's going to my print lab, so I can go ahead and drop this down to a quarter of an inch and you're gonna see immediately that that snapped my photo into the middle. Now, I have basically an even border, but I want this to go even wider. So here's what I'm gonna do. Down to my cell size, I'm going to increase this and I'm going to increase the width at the same time. Yes, I lost a little bit of the images or a little bit of the image around the end, not enough to make a big difference. In my opinion, these are just a proof. They are not the final image. And we all know that when you print things at different ratios, sometimes you do lose part of the image. So for me, I like it like this. You make your best decision as a business owner. Maybe a four by six is a better option for you. Now, once I've done that, I do have a couple other options. You can come down here, you can add watermarking, you can add a photo info or a file name. I'm just gonna leave it exactly as is, knowing that this is just a print for a proof. You can also add print sharpening and you can say what type of paper. I like to just leave all that very simple, keeping in mind what? that this is a proof. This is not a finished image, okay? Now, here's the next thing, and this is the last step. Can you guys believe how easy this is? Like, seriously, so simple. Now, I'm gonna come down here, and I'm going to print to file. So I'm gonna click on this, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose where I want this to go. So I've got my client galleries. I have a proof folder right here. So now I can say that I wanna make a new folder, and maybe I wanna say prom. I'm going to create it. And now I'm simply going to hit save and it's going to save that image into that folder. Now, if I had selected all of the images, I could quickly in one fell swoop save them all to that same folder. And now all I have to do, I'm gonna come over here to Photoshop and pull this up. Let me pull up that image so that you guys can see it. So double check here. So here comes into my proof prom. And now when I pull up this image, you guys can see I have a nice white border around the whole thing and I'm ready to ship it off to my print lab.
Easy, easy, easy. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, click that link up in the corner and join my mailing list where I can give you more social media trips and amazing photography ideas. If you love this video as well, I would love it for you to give me a thumbs up and let other people know that you found tremendous value here. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in an upcoming tutorial.